UI designer, UX designer, UI slash UX designer, user experience designer, visual designer. You are watching this video, so chances are you want to know what these titles are, what do they mean, how they are different, and which one is the right one for you. As a designer working in Silicon Valley, I will try my best to answer those questions. So in this video, in the next roughly 10 minutes, I'm going to walk you through my definition of UI and UX, show you a lot of examples, and make sense of both terms for you. Now, let's get started and roll the intro. Morning everyone, my name is Justine and I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. And yeah, let's end the confusion between UX and UI. At least I'm gonna try. The agenda for this video is quite simple. I'm gonna start with why are these so confusing? And then I will go into a deeper dive of what is UI, what is UX, and show you a side-by-side -side comparison with a ton of examples in each chapter. Now, without further ado, Let's dive right into it. Part one, why are they so confusing? Short answer, just because they are confusing. After all my years at Georgia Tech, Art Center, Pinterest, Google, DoorDash, here's what I found and what I've learned. UI and UX are technically two different things, or at least they started out differently. Two different focuses, but they are increasingly becoming so interconnected nowadays. Meaning UI design can influence UX design and UX design can for sure impact what UI looks like. Because of that, some people use them interchangeably. But after this video, you should be able to develop a sense and instinct to discern the differences so that in the future conversation, you can say, I think you're talking about UX or what you were trying to say was UI, not UX. This is a Venn diagram that I think describes the relationship between UX and UI pretty well. UX is the overall overarching end-to-end -end journey, the experience, quote, quote, the umbrella that covers everything, including UI, meaning UI is only a subset of UX. Therefore, the only time that you might want to talk about them separately is perhaps to call out their differences, to really highlight their unique attributes, which is a perfect segue to part two. What is UI? What is UI design? UI is you know, user interface. Interface is the key word here. And interface is the interaction layer that you give input to, mostly to a system. A user interface is an interface that made for users to use to do something as simple as that. In software product, the interface, the UI is a digital layer. All those pixels, the elements that are formed by those pixels. For example, if you look at the iOS lock screen, it is the UI, it's a user interface. The circular buttons, the keypad is a UI element. When you tap it, the circle fills up to give you feedback, that's a UI element. When you put in the wrong passcode, it shakes a little. The animation is a UI animation. It's still the UI, so if you are a UI designer, you design all those UI elements. In hardware products, the interface is the physical hardware itself. The capacitive iPhone screen is an interface. The power button is an interface. The volume buttons, the silent button is an interface. Even the face ID is an interface because these are all interaction layers that take our input to do something with it. Therefore, UI design defines the interaction layer that you and I will interact with directly, digitally, or tangibly. It deals with things at a more detailed level. As a UI designer, you're going to think about what do those UI elements look like? How big are the buttons? What color are they? How much spacing do you put between them? How do users interact with those elements? For digital interface, there's going to be a scroll. Is it a tap? Is it a tap and hold? These are highly visible things. You will see them. UI is visual. Nowadays in 2021, UI design is pretty much the same as visual design. And therefore, a UI designer is pretty much the same as a visual designer. It's purely from a visual language and consistency standpoint. You're going to find inspiration, set the creative direction, form the aesthetic, do mood boards, imagery, all the visceral look and feel. If you want to read a book about it, I highly recommend Emotional Design by Don Norman. It focuses more on the visual, the emotional aspect. How do those make you feel about everyday products? How do those trigger different emotional responses? In a hiring and career perspective, if your major is in communication design, visual design, visual communication, graphic design, then you want to provide more clarity, craft pleasing visuals. Very likely you want to be a UI designer, you want to be a visual designer. That's it for UI. So now let's take a look at part three. What is UX? 
UX is user experience, as you know. The key here is experience. It implies time is a journey. It involves multiple steps. If you remember from the Venn diagram, when you use a product, when you interact with the UI, you scroll, you type an image, using the UI is actually a part of an overall experience. UX is guiding users to accomplish a task. UX design is designing a way for users to complete what they want, what they need to do. In software, your entire task is likely to be done to be completed inside an app by itself. Each screen has a UI, which allows you to give it an input and do something. So the experience here, the overall, the end-to-end -end experience here is the sequence of the UIs. Now you start to see why UI and UX begin to blend more and more in digital design. For example, you want to book an Airbnb trip. What are the steps? What information do you want to show in the app to users? Well, as a UX designer, you need to do user research. You talk to users, you find out they care about location so that they know whether it's safe or whether it's walkable. They care about price because they have a budget. They care about whether the host is legit, whether they can trust them. After all those findings, you will decide to put price, location, and rating of the host in the app with all intents and purposes to help them book a place that they like and feel comfortable to stay in. That's how you design and define an experience for a user. In hardware, again, you consider what users' needs are, what they're trying to do, and even anticipate their needs ahead of time. For example, the volume buttons on your iPhone, why do designers put them there? Well, users need a quick way to adjust the volume. These considerations and design make the product more usable, so users feel that it's convenient, that it's secure. These great feelings contribute to a good experience. Therefore, UX design tackles at a more macro level, focusing on users' needs, finding out what elements to put in the app if it's digital design, and where to put them in order to meet their needs and solve their problems, accomplish their goals. As a UX designer, especially in software, you focus on usability. You do a lot of thinking about users, for users, you interview them, you do wireframes, you do interaction flows, usability testing. You don't focus on a single screen at a time, but all those invisible efforts and flow that go behind the scene. If an app is very simple, very fast with minimal UI, it's very likely that the UX is done right and well to allow that to happen. If you want to read a book about it, I highly recommend the design of everyday things. Also by Don Norman. This one is an incredibly practical book that covers all the basics of usability that you must know. From a hiring and career perspective, if you are an industrial design major, interaction design major, human computer interaction, even psychology, a major that you learn about human centered design, is likely to lead you to the path of a UX designer. What I'm gonna show you next is to juxtapose UI against UX. So you have a clear side by side comparison to see the differences. But before we do so, Let's take a small break. All right, let's do it. Part four, UI versus UX. I'm gonna start with some examples. These are two ATM machines by Chase. They have pretty much the same UX because these two ATM machines help achieve very similar things. You put in your PIN number, you take the money out, you deposit checks, you get cash, but they look different, right? They have different layout, different placement, meaning they have two different interfaces. So same UX, different UI here. Next one, two control center, one on iOS, one in the new Material U design. Again, they pretty much have the same UX. You turn on and on Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, address brightness, volume, but they give you two different fields, different sizes, different icons, different colors. So they have different UI. So in this example, same UX, different UI. Of course, the catch here is that the bigger the size of the slider makes it easier to interact with, easier to complete the task of adjusting brightness, let's say, which is better UX. So changes in UI does impact the UX. Just another example why they're so interconnected in software design, which is why people use UI and UX interchangeably and confuse you more every day. So now let's have the side-by-side -side comparison. UI and UX. UI deals with more micro elements. The aesthetics, the brand, the UI element components, carousel, grid view, list view. While UX tackle more on a macro scale, the end-to-end -end experience, the user journey, that meets their need, help them solve their problems. What are the steps? What is the flow to help them get there? Because UI has a lot to do with appearance. That's why UIs are mostly visible. While UX is almost 
invisible because a lot of it is about the thinking for the users to do testing to make sure that it solves the problem. It's the underlying structure and foundation of the product. Since we are forcing ourselves to distinguish UI and UX, UI focuses a lot on the aesthetics, the look and feel, while UX focuses on usability. So when you see UX, think usability. A better UI means it has better craft, higher polish, a more consistent visual language. A better UX will come in simplifying the process, reducing steps, making things easier, making things more usable. Therefore, if you like to finesse more on the color, the size of elements, the composition, the layout, how things look, alignment, spacing, component to component relationship, font size, font weight, font color, it's likely that you want to be a UI designer to take on a visual designer role. On the other hand, if you want to do more user research, working with people, car sorting, wireframing, doing interaction flows, prototype and do more testing with users to make sure things work, meet users' need, help solve their problems, then likely that you want to be a UX designer. Just in case if you're not sure still which one to pick, I would recommend maybe start with UX because you know UX include UI. That means you still have to learn both. So you have options and more skills under your belt. Plus there is still a UI design quality bar that you still have to pass as a UX designer. I talked about it in this video, so if you're interested, link up here, description down below. I'm going to wrap this video with some more comments on job posts. Since UI and UX are so interconnected, many hiring managers would just say UX designer. That is a job post. That is the title. That is the role with an expectation that you can also do UI. Second point, some companies want to make it more clear that you will do both. So they say UI slash UX designer. So when you see UI slash UX, assume that you'll be doing both in this role. Third, there's another new role growing in popularity called product designer, as which you will also do everything, interaction design, visual design, motion design, prototyping. Because of that, you can consider UI slash UX designer and product designer are pretty much the same role, in the Bay Area at least. UI design by itself still exists, but not a lot, not often, as some companies still want to separate them from UX, but don't want to call them visual design, while the rest of the industry is reframing it more as visual design nowadays. So in conclusion, in the world of Silicon Valley, software, it's really hard to separate UI and UX. But if you have to, UI is aesthetics, UX is usability. Done, what do you guys think? I can't believe I spent so long on this one. Hope this deep dive give you a more comprehensive idea of how UI and UX are connected but different and shed some light on which one might suit you better. If you have any thoughts, any question, anything you want me to clarify, let me know in the comment section down below. Here are some related topics that I plan to talk about in future videos. If you have preferences of which one you want me to talk about first, let me know. If you think of something that's not here, feel free to let me know as well. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video useful or insightful, please destroy the like button for YouTube algorithm. This is still a small channel, so every like counts and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you want to see more UX career tips or design videos like this, consider smash the subscribe button as well. Doing so will tremendously help the channel and motivate me to produce more high quality content down the road. Have fun following your passion and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers!